one of our main achievements has to has been to keep uh, the European Union together and also to keep the euro currency together. This has been very, very difficult for her. And uh, three crises, the global financial crisis, crisis of 2008, 2009, the refugee crisis, and now the pandemic. There've been three major crises and Merkel's achievement has been really her ability to deal with crisis management. And I think keeping Europe together in these very difficult times has been one of our greatest successes. Her legacy will be complicated because she has been rather ambiguous or has left a lot of unfinished business to her successor. And it is her, her attitude towards human rights. She's a very strong advocate of human rights and the rule of law, but somehow this, this gets sidelined when she does business with China, for instance. And it was Merkel who pushed through the big EU-China um, investment accord just before the beginning of this new year. That's the first thing. Secondly, um, she has ruled uh, the Christian Democratic Union Party in a very special way. She has allowed very little opposition. She has moved it to the center away from its original roots of conservatism and Catholicism. And whoever succeeds her will have to make a decision if they're going to keep on this centrist path or else move it to the right in order to attract back those voters who drifted to the far right alternative for, for Germany um, party. And the third aspect of her, her legacy is her reluctance to deal with the hardcore issues of security and defense. These issues can no longer be left on the back burner and her successor will have to deal with this, especially with the incoming Biden administration. Armin Laschet is no pushover. He's a very interesting politician. He's worked his way through the entire party apparatus of the Christian Democrats. And just one tiny caveat, for him to be the next chancellor candidate, he has to get the support of the Christian Democrat sister party, Bavaria, the Christian Social Union. He'll probably get this. But um, Laschet has promised to continue the centrist line. But I think he'll be, in some ways, a bit more ambitious than Merkel when it comes to integration, especially integration of the one million refugees. He's very much an integrationist and a kind of inclusive politician. And some people regard him as a vuncular and a bit of a pushover. This man is very, very tough. And um, he may be strong enough to keep the party together. Merkel was strong enough to keep the party together because she isolated her opponents. Laschet, um, if he does become chancellor, will have an awful lot of enemies inside the party. And it's going to be his skill to keep the party together united and it's going to be his skill to elect a cabinet who are who are loyalists and that will not stab him in the back there's one other aspect about this about the succession and it is this where does germany stand with regard to more integration political integration economic integration of the european union Laschet might surprise us he is fluent in french he's got very very good english and he served in the European Parliament. He knows Europe inside out. And remember, he comes from North Rhine-Westphalen, which has got, it's the biggest, most populous state in Germany. It's got very close ties. It's, it's, it's more westward looking than Berlin, which is eastward looking. So there are some hopes that actually Laschet might give Germany a new sense of a European direction, which actually is sorely needed.